Did you get yourself tickled? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just thinking of something funny yeah. that you were gonna say? Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, Fat Red Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Laura. Mary Beth, we've got some more good stuff today. I'm excited about this stuff. So in this <laughs> week's video, Laura's aunt Guy went and bought us some stuff. And then Laura's cousin Sherry. Guy's daughter. Guy's daughter found some more stuff. Yes, and she is very uh, proud of herself. Good. She's paid attention to our videos. She's paid attention to your advice, our likes and dislikes. And so, sh wait till you see what she picked out. I'm excited. So, <laughs> thanks to Guy and to Sherry. We appreciate it. Yes. Okay, so let's dig in and see. Let's start with Guy. Okay. We'll start with her haul first. Okay, so this for, for Guy, this is just a little average yard sale haul okay. of hers. This is like what she comes up with all the time. Okay. That's my favorite piece. This is adorable. <laughs> so, this is a little owl and a squirrel, and it's a Beatrix Potter piece. Right. Like, you Peter know. Peter Rabbit. Peter Cottontail. Peter Cottontail. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's a or different. Peter Rabbit. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Now and I'm confused. They're made in England. Yes. And I think that, um, well, my mom told me that people got them, you know, years ago as souvenirs because you could tour the factory over there. Oh. So it's kind of a, real, a touristy thing to do if you visited. Um, and so everybody would just buy it. <laughs> Boot, if you Boots heard that, water. he's over there <laughs> splashing around in his water bowl. <laughs> that was really something. Uh, anyway, they would, you know, tour the factory and then there would be a little gift store and then they would have all this stuff for sale. Cool. And I just love it. I love that too. That's adorable. Okay. Then we have a little cat. We have lots of cat lovers. Mm -hmm. And this one's cute. Yeah. So she's always on the lookout for a cute little kitty. Yep. I think he's pretty. He's just a little ceramic or porcelain mm -hmm. something. What is he? Does he have a name on the bottom or anything? No, he's from Bardwell Flowers and More. Oh, okay. He's just a cute little fat cat. I like, somebody will really like him. I mean, I think he's cute. And then it looks like she's found a jar full of maybe costume jewelry. Yes, I've told her before. Um, I like to look for... I like to do like lots of jewelry and stuff like that. I just think it's kind of fun. Cool. Um, I've been picking up old jewelry boxes. I found one at St. Vincent's the other day. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's in a different haul. But anyway, the old, you know, like 60s ones that yeah. have the little push button lock things and they open up and they're kind of tiered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think it'd be fun to sell that with jewelry in it. Cool. And so she found that. Cool. It's lots of gold. Right off the bat, there's some earrings that are still in their package. So that'll be fun to go mm -hmm. through. Great. Okay. And then we've got a little pair of ducks. I think those are really, really, really cute. <laughs> yes. And they are uh, Ardalt Taiwan, excuse me, Bone China. And you know that Ardalt company, we, we found a few different things like on the piano hall that mm. day, remember? Yes. Yeah. Very cute. Love it. So that's a pretty good little company. Okay. Then we've got, this is so boho. Michelle would probably like this. Yeah, maybe we'll send that to her. Maybe we should. It's just a little heart. You could put your jewelry or your treasures yeah, in there. Yeah, and it looks just like those little baskets actually that Michelle bought from us. Oh, yeah. On Fat, the Fat Bird 5 one night. Cool. So, yeah, I think that's really cute. I do too. I love it. And then we've got this, this tray, which is a very interesting <laughs> material. It's almost plastic, but not it's, quite. No, it's made to look like wood. Uh huh. And our poor little viewer that bought the last one that we had like this, it arrived to her broken. Oh, the yeah. darn post office. We had bad luck with our post office here. And that just goes to show you, it's, it was made by the same company. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't really, I mean, we wrapped it really good anyway, but we didn't think that it was all that breakable, but it really is. It's kind of an odd kind of composition, like plastery kind of. Right. <clears throat> and um, so, lo and behold, if you know if it can be broken, the USPS will do it. We love the USPS, but it doesn't always work out for us. This is marked Multi Products Incorporated USA, so it's yeah. got a mark. We can look that up. Very fall. Yeah. It'd be very cute for 
candles or your potpourri or whatever. I love it. So mm -hmm. is, is that, does that include all of Yes, yeah, that's little? Gee's little haul. Good job, Gee. <laughs> Thanks. As always, she, yes. she does not disappoint. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to jump into Sherry's haul. And you have to call it Uncle Sherry's haul. Why? <laughs> have you not heard this before? I don't think so. She makes fun of herself because back in the day, I don't do it so much anymore, but back in the day, I would like to do like crafts and back in the day. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I was like the one that did crafts and scrapbooks and things that she really doesn't like to do or enjoy. Yeah. And so, and she doesn't like to cook. She likes to just eat out or whatever. And like when we have family get together, she always brings the ice and the drinks because she doesn't like to cook. Yeah. Like an uncle, she says. Like, an, un funny. like an unmarried uncle. So she calls herself Uncle Sherry. <laughs> I had no idea. That's fantastic. Can I call her Uncle Sherry? Absolutely. She will want you to. <laughs> so this is Uncle Sherry's haul. That's so good. Because she's so proud of herself. She doesn't really go out and do things like this, but she's paid so much attention. She has. And it's, she's like competitive with Gee. Now, <laughs> let me pause briefly. Uh -huh. This haul is going to spark the next two weeks videos hauls. Yes. Okay, so there is this really cute vintage boutique mm -hmm. here in Paducah, and they've got tons of vintage items, and they've been going out of business. Mm -hmm. So the lady who works there, Joy, hi if you're watching Joy, I gave her our card. Ah, not my mom Joy. Not your mom Joy. <laughs> Joy from the Little Black Dog mm -hmm. Vintage Boutique. So she's going out of business. Sherry stopped and picked up this haul. Mm -hmm took it to Laura. Laura gets on the phone with me. She's like, Mary Beth, you've got to go by there. Sherry just got tons of good stuff. Go by there and see what you can find. Laura was at work. So I go by there, get tons of stuff. That'll be next week's video. Mm -hmm. Then a few days later, I went back. <laughs> she let me go in the attic and the basement and I got even more stuff. That'll be the following week's video. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> we've had a lot of luck from Joy at the Little Black Dog Boutique. Yeah, we're sorry to see her go. I really didn't, I, I'm ashamed to say that I did not know her shop was there. I know, we didn't, so. I, we didn't. So yeah, that sucks, <laughs> but we we she had tons of awesome stuff and you won't believe the stuff that we found there. But wait, let's pause for a station identification. You're watching Fat Bird Finds and this is our haul. So if you're not subscribed to us already, you need to do that. What are you waiting for? How this was, is so great. How was that? <laughs> Fantastic. It was just as good as the first time you sprung that one on me. Thanks. <laughs> we really would like for you to subscribe. I caught you this delicious bass. <laughs> I, I know I'm supposed to know where that comes from. Do you know what movie that's from? I caught you this delicious bass. Oh. Or I caught you a delicious bass. I, I, I can't. I can't get it. Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, of course. Anyway, so this is a really nicely glazed ceramic plate dish, and it's got a fish painted on it. Yeah, it's just like a studio pottery piece, yeah. as they would say, and I just think that was really pretty. Yeah, that is gorgeous. That's really nicely done. I love it. Does this, it doesn't have a signature or anything on the back. It doesn't. Does it? it is totally unmarked, but that is just, the glazing job on that is beautiful. Love that. You could use that in any, any old place. Any old place. Any old place. I was going to say on the wall or, I mean, but I think that's a prettier piece to sit on the table. Laura, you forgot your purse. You think that that looks like something I would carry? No. <laughs> but somebody would love to carry this. It's like quilted on the inside. And what is this? Is this cross stitch? Well, no. This no. is needlepoint. On, needlepoint. But it's on plastic canvas. That was a thing for a while, gotcha. as you guys out there probably remember. And um, really, um, before boutiques were all that popular, this was like this is like something that you, that would sell in a little boutique because it's it's kind of personalized. It's a Kentucky one, so it's got the UK on there. Uh -huh. It's got a cardinal. What does the cardinals have to do with Kentucky, Laura? Do you know? Yes. Let's hear it. It's Louisville. What? Cardinal is a state bird of Kentucky. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. There you go. 
So it's got a cardinal on it. It's got a horse for the derby. It's got dogwoods. It's got Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone. <laughs> How do you know that's Daniel Boone? I don't know. I'm just guessing. I think it is. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Colonel Sanders? Oh, it is, I think. That's Colonel Sanders. And there's a racehorse. There's uh, yes. blue, uh, what's Churchill, Churchill Downs. Churchill Downs. Almost said blue Bourbon. Grass Downs. Bourbon. Horses. UK. So, yeah, this is just a Kentucky extravaganza. And it's got 1975 stitched on the bottom or needle pointed in the, on the bottom. I made several things out of all that that plastic canvas stuff. Not um, not a purse though, I must say. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> is it? It is. Well, I think somebody will really think that's cute. Yes. Especially the Kentucky, you know, personalized touch there. Yeah, I think that that's great. Mm -hmm. That's really fun. Good job, Sherry. Let's go to this picture. Look how cool this is. I it's have square. to say, I have never seen a square picture. It's square. Have you? No. And the handle is like cut out there on the side. What do we think that design is on the picture? I don't know. You think it's some sort of fruit? Let us know in the comments below. I'll show close-ups of this and you let us know what you think that is. I mean, I was gonna say like garlic? Well, it's, I don't know. it's made in Japan, so maybe it's some sort of Japanese fruit that we don't know about. Is that possible? I mean, I guess it's possible. Are you sure that says made in Japan? It doesn't look well, made in Japan. <laughs> M-A-D-E-I-N-J-A-P-A-N. What do you think that says? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, don't ask me if I'm sure it says it. <laughs> I can read it. I'm mad at you. Great, I'm mad at you. I'm mad. <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. It's very unique. I've never seen a square picture. I like it. I like the little hand painted border around the top. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of little condition issues, just a little, we call them flea bites when they're tiny like that because they're not big chunks out of it or anything. Right. But very cute. Very unique. Love it. Good job, Sherry. This is interesting because we found <laughs> some cups almost just like this not long ago. I think we were drinking out of them last week or the week before. Maybe. So Laura had found some glasses just like this basically except the stars weren't on them. Mm -hmm. So and then Sherry found these three that you know it's just very interesting to find two things so similar. Yeah they're not uh, collectible or anything. No. I love these. These appeal to me like I would drink out of these at home. But they're hand done. I mean, mm -hmm. you can tell it's got the small little bubbles in there. So you, that's a good way to know that it's hand done. And plus it's got the pontal mark mm -hmm. in the bottom. And then somebody's gone over these and etched these stars. So that'd be fun for 4th of July or something oh, yeah. like that. Like a fruity red drink in these. Mm -hmm. That would be so festive. <laughs> Love it. Okay, why don't that you- That would be really cute. That's what I said. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Don't unsubscribe to our channel. We bicker all the time. <laughs> Let's see those candlestick holders. Why are you skipping that stuff? Because those are good ones. I want to oh. show those last. Okay. We like to save the best stuff till later. <laughs> candlestick holders. Oh, these are cute. Yeah. I mean, they're, are... they're not everybody's style, but they're very sweet. The little flowers are in good shape. There's just maybe a little bitty bitty flea bite here or there. I'm squinting because I don't have my glasses on, but this says Commodore Japan. Are you sure? <laughs> I couldn't resist. And then they're just like little roses. Oh, that is what it says. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Somebody might really love these. Uh huh. Like if they had like rose tablecloth or something. Yeah, they're, they're super 60s or 50s even maybe. So they're, they're really cute. Yeah. We can definitely try those out in a live sale sometime. Mm -hmm. Love it. Ooh, what are those? Those plates. Yeah, so these are just some Mexican pottery. And then Ooh. we've got people out there that love that. Um, Mexican pottery. Yeah, cool. So it's oh, marked got, on the bottom. Yeah, and they've got little designs like drawn in them. Mm -hmm. Mine's not marked on the bottom, is yours? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah. Cool. I, I'm not gonna butcher oh, that. Oh it is. I'm not gonna butcher that pronunciation, but it's just sort of hand marked and it just it does say Mexico. Mine says Mexico too. Yeah. Cool. Great. So, so yeah, we'll show you close-ups of these designs. These are really interesting. I think those are cute. I don't see any damage on these at all. Mm -mm. Cool. Okay, how about the crackle glass next? Yeah, so Sherry said, look, this is crackle glass. And it's... Um, it's amber. Amber. I love amber So glass. she's really paying attention to the videos. That is darling. And Isn't that's that sweet. Got the little ponsel mark too. That's just so cute. Somebody will love this in a live sale. Mm -hmm. I like that piece. Okay. What is that big thing? You want to show? Oh. Let's show this next. Okay. What is this? So this is just like a really, a particularly pretty dresser blanket. <laughs> dresser blanket. And it's a little bit bigger. So I think it could be a table runner. Oh. So isn't that pretty? Yeah. That is really pretty. Those flowers are pretty. Mm-hmm. So oh, you would, would, you would call this a table runner instead of a I think dresser I scarf? I think I would. Or yes. a dresser blanket, as I like to say. <laughs> yes, I think so. Okay. Do you want to show what that is? Yeah. You were kind of surprised by this piece. I don't really understand, so you have to explain. Well, it's very desirable. It's it's old needlepoint. So look at it. Old needlepoint. And obviously, you can tell on the back it's hand done. Right. Yeah, sure. So um, someone sat and stitched for hours. <laughs> making this and but what is it it's obviously it's it's unfinished or it's come off of something yeah so i think it, it came off of a bench of some sort oh and the reason it's desirable i mean obviously it's desirable because it was hand done but what people do now with them is if you don't have a bench or anything the exact same size they take and make these huge big bolster bed pillows decorative pillows out of them that sell for hundreds of dollars oh what a good idea yeah and i didn't know that i wish i if i can find a picture before we put this video together I'll, I'll give it to you to put in the video but they just make these big fancy and it was a big thing in the 80s and 90s but they make these big fancy you know um decorative pillows with the ruffles and stuff and then these are the centers okay yeah you learn something every day yeah, and see, like this originally, they had hundred and twenty dollars on that piece. Wow! So fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, feel I would like have I was going to say something else about it. See, um, that just goes to show what I know. I mean, if I had seen this in a store, I would have never picked this up. Oh, I know what I was going to say. It reminds me, and it, this could have come from a church. It reminds me um, when I went to Broadway Methodist, the ladies were trying to finish the kneelers. We had kneelers up along the front of the church that were old that needed to be replaced and they had all they had hand stitched needlepoint cushions all the way wow. down, all the way down the kneelers so it may have been a project like that of some sort cool yeah great but that takes a lot of work very nice thanks for explaining that to me laura because i i didn't get it yeah okay so we've got three more things to show yes we've saved the best ones for last i think well, in my opinion, maybe it's not really the best, but the ones that I like the best. Yeah, so we've got two pieces of carnival glass, mm -hmm. both very different. Very different. And I'm hoping that you guys, um, I haven't asked mom, I'm hoping you guys can help me out with this. Uh, we'll show a close-up of it, but I think this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes Guy calls this white carnival glass because it's so light, but of course there's a little bit of color to it as you'll see when you see the close-up. But look how pretty that ruffle pattern is and there's a little beaded, there's a little beaded edging yeah. on the outside. And I love that. I think that's very sweet. That is really pretty. This is the color of carnival glass that I'm more attracted to. So the dark like purples and blues, mm -hmm. but I'm not a huge fan of the grapes. It's not really my jam. Mm -hmm. Although this is gorgeous, I think. So yeah, it's just this really pretty vessel. <laughs> That's a decanter. Decanter. Don't you think? I think so. It's got the grapes on it. Nothing. It's not, it's not extremely valuable. Right, but it's just pretty. I just think pieces like this are really pretty. That's that's some intense color right there. You don't see that much color very yeah. often. I mean, there's greens and purples and all sorts of colors in this when you put it in the light. 
And it's that piece isn't marked or anything, is it? No. no. So, you know, a lot of times that color that you like comes from Northwood. And it would be an N with mm. a circle around it. Gotcha. But, yeah. Cool. Okay, we've got one more piece. I really like this. Oh, that's so cute. This is the little moon and stars. Uh, I guess it's a little candy dish. Yeah, and look at the little shaped edge. I think that makes it super cute. I do too. So I like, what's the word? Scalloped. Scalloped, thank you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's got the really pretty moon and stars. Yeah, and see the little scallops around the edges? So yeah. it, it fits in around the edges like that. I like that. it. <laughs> I don't think that this piece has got any sort of damage at all that I've found. I can feel one tiny little rough spot right there, but on the just, underside, I can't hardly even. I can't even see it really. You have to feel it. Good. All right. Well, I think that Gee and Sherry have done a phenomenal job. That's right. I may, have Sherry. To, I may have to keep this for a while. <laughs> I think that one's really cute. Okay. So thanks to Gee and to Sherry, this mm -hmm. has been awesome. Um, as always, if you see anything that you're interested in, it usually you know, we are part-timers at this, and so it takes us a while to get it listed either on eBay or in a live sale. Mm -hmm. So don't hesitate to send us an email and ask about anything that you see here that you think you might want to purchase. That's right, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We always love to hear from our viewers, and if we've still got an item available, we would love to sell it to you that way. Yeah, and in the comments, leave any kind of information that you might have for us. You guys are really good at that. So yeah, if we got... If if you know the pattern or if we got something wrong or if yeah. <laughs> i can't read made in japan let us know are you sure it said made in japan i'll show a close-up <laughs> okay guys so if you're not subscribed to our channel already hit that button what are you doing <laughs> it's gonna be great we've got more content to come i've got two more hauls from this place laura that's right and you never know when we might just randomly go live and do a haul in between I'm not prepared for that. Next two weeks videos though, really good stuff coming up. You don't want to miss it. So make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified when we put out new content. That's right. Leave us a like, leave us a comment below. We love to hear from you guys and stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye everybody. Bye.